Hello and welcome back to FM Wonder Kids, the home of Wonder Kids here on YouTube, but also the home of Euro 2020. I don't know why I've got a Real Madrid top on. Today I'm going to be going through my predictions for the Euro 2020 tournament. Who's going to qualify for the round of 16? Who's going to get knocked out? Who's going to go through to the semis? And who is going to reach the final and ultimately be crowned the victors of Europe? Now if you do like the video at any point today, please consider hitting that like button in fact don't just consider it smash the like button these videos are absolutely free i'm doing loads of them so the least you could do is hit that like button so today i went into town with my lovely daughter who's one and a half years old and i pushed it into wh smith's and bought myself a guide to euro 2020 in that guide was a free wall chart now, i don't know if you can see that properly on my wall there i spent some time putting this wall chart up filling in my predictions and today we're going to talk about my predictions and i'm going to tell you exactly how i see the tournament panning out if you want to place some bets go ahead be gamble away these are my predictions they might go right they might go wrong but if they do go right for you make sure you send me a couple of pounds in the post i'm going to be referring to my wall chart the whole way through this video but i've got a little picture of it on my phone here so uh, I'm not being rude, I'm just looking on my phone. Group A goes down a little something like this. The first game of the tournament is a 1-0 win to Italy. Then Wales beat Switzerland 1-0. Turkey and Wales draw 0-0. Italy and Switzerland finish 2-all. Switzerland, Turkey is another 0-0. And Italy versus Wales is a 2-0 win for Italy. Now I have made some notes here based on teams' performances throughout the European qualifiers. Stats such as expected goals against number of clean sheets. And I'll refer to this throughout the video just so you can see that I'm not just picking results out of thin air. There was a process to my madness. So Turkey have got a really good defensive record. Eight clean sheets during qualifying, which isn't masked by anybody else throughout the Euro qualifiers. That's the reason why I've gone such a low scoring game in the first game, Italy against Turkey 1-0 for example. Then they've also got a 0-0 against Wales and another 0-0 against Switzerland. Switzerland have a really good record during qualifying of expected goals against, coming out at 0.78, one of the top five best performers in terms of expected goals against in the qualifying stages. That means Group A finishes up with Italy the victors, Wales coming in at second, and it's a real close shootout between Switzerland and Turkey for the third and fourth spots, both coming up on two points, both with a goal difference of minus one. Group B then, Denmark beat Finland on the first game 1-0, then is another 0-0 featuring Belgium and Russia. Russia beat Finland 1-0, Belgium beat Denmark 3-0, there's a one-all draw between Russia and Denmark, and then Belgium finally get their scoring boots on, thrash Finland 4-1. Now Russia are another one of these teams that perform really well during qualifying in terms of expected goals against. That's why I've gone for the nil-nil between Belgium and Russia. Of course, Belgium could absolutely smash them, but Russia had seven clean sheets during qualifying, and that's bettered only by Turkey. That group finishes up with Belgium the victors on goal, difference with Russia just in behind and Switzerland third on four points. Finland go out. Group C kicks off with Austria against North Macedonia. I've got a 2-0 victory there for Austria. Then the Netherlands hammer Ukraine 3-0. Ukraine come back with a 1-0 win against North Macedonia. Then Netherlands beat Austria 2-1 before going on to thrash the North Macedonians 5-0 before the Ukraine beat Austria on the final day of the group 1-0. North Macedonia were one of the worst performing teams to qualify for the European Championships. They had an expected goals against figure of 1.5 per game during qualifying. That is second worst out of all the teams that have qualified. That's why I've gone for a 5-0 thrashing versus Netherlands and actually they don't get a single point from anybody in Group C. Here it is, Group D, England kick off and they draw 1-1 with Croatia. England and Croatia's kind of underlying numbers during qualifying are very, very similar. So I've gone with a one or draw. There. Unfortunately, the Czech Republic beat Scotland 2 1. They then go on to draw one all with Croatia. I've gone for a goal fest in that England versus Scotland game at Wembley. Emotions are going to run high, and you know all these Scottish players are going to be up for this game. They haven't got a great record in terms of defence throughout qualifying. We know England have got a good attack, 
and I've just gone for the goal fest there. 4-3. Croatia, the Czech Republic and England all feared about the same during qualifying when it comes to expected goals against. England and Croatia both on 0.88 per game with the Czech Republic a little bit higher on 0.95. But the two Eastern European sides only managed to keep two clean sheets throughout qualifying. And that is why in Group D, the only shutout I have is for England against the Czech Republic on the last day of the group. Group E kicks off with Poland against Slovakia where they edge out their neighbours. I mean, I think they're quite close. 2-0. Spain beat Sweden 1-0 before Sweden draw with Slovakia. Spain then turn up the gas a little bit and win 2-0 at Poland before turning it up a little bit more and winning 3-0 against Slovakia. Sweden finished the group by drawing 2 all with Poland. Slovakia are the worst team in the competition in terms of defence if you look at the qualifying rounds with a figure of 1.73 expected goals conceded. That's the worst of all teams that have qualified. Poland and Sweden are both pretty bad as well. When you look at that figure, 1.21 for Poland and 1.18 for Sweden. But Poland did manage seven clean sheets during qualifying, which is second out of all the teams that have qualified. Sweden managing five, which is the same amount as Spain. I've got Spain here qualifying with a massive three points, maximum points there for Spain. Poland coming in second with four points. Sweden just in behind with three. And Slovakia out with one point. Finally then, Group F kicks off with Portugal against Hungary. I've gone for a 2-1 Portugal win. France then face Germany and I've got them winning 1-0. Hungary then play France and they get beaten 2-0. Portugal against Germany goes 2-1 to the Portuguese. Then Portugal against France is a 0-0 and then Germany beat Hungary 2-0 to finish off the group stage. That puts France as winners of the group on goal difference with Portugal just in behind, Germany third, with Hungary going out of the competition. Hungary during qualifying only managed two clean sheets. That's joint worst out of all the teams in the competition during qualifying, along with the Czech Republic and Croatia. And France actually come out the best in terms of expected goals against with a figure of 0.53 across the whole of qualifying. So what does that mean for the round of 16? I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Well, it was actually quite complicated to figure out because eight teams go out at the group stages. So that means one team is knocked out from some groups, two teams are knocked out from others, and it goes down to points scored and goal difference in some cases. And there's actually a misprint on my wall chart, which I'll be getting in touch with the uh, manufacturers about this. Match 37 and match 40 apparently both have the winners of Group C playing in them. How does that work? I had to double check online and I tried to fill it in as best as I can, but it's quite confusing. I mean, I don't understand how the layman is gonna keep up with this because I'm very, very intelligent and I can't keep up with it at all. So on Saturday the 26th of June at 5 p.m. Wales play Russia in the first round of 16 and Russia beat them 2-1. Wales go out. Wales have a really turbulent history with Russia. There was that whole drug scandal, I think, back in the early 2000s with Mark Hughes' team. So Wales really would like to get one over on the Russians here, but I got Russia winning 2-1. Then on Saturday the 26th of June at 8 p.m., Italy beat Ukraine 3-1 to go through to the quarters. Netherlands faced the Czech Republic and they win 3-2 on extra time. And Belgium, draw nil nil with Germany and it goes down to penalties and there's only going to be ever one victor in that situation. Germany knock Belgium out at the round of 16. Croatia play Poland on June the 5th in Copenhagen and they win 1-0. Poland are out. France beat Denmark 2-0 on the same day. England play Portugal in the round of 16. That is huge. I think it was Euro 2006 or was it 2008? I think it was Euro 2008 actually with the whole Rooney versus Ronaldo and then back in 2004 as well I believe Portugal win this one on penalties. History repeats itself and England go out at the round of 16. Spain then play Austria in the last match of the round and they smash them 3-0 to go through to the quarters. Quarterfinals time. Netherlands play Russia. Easy win there for Netherlands, although it is only 1-0. Germany play Italy, and Italy beat them hard. I say hard. 2-1. France against Croatia. This one is tight. It's 1-all. It goes to extra time. It's still 1-all. Penalties. 
France take it. Spain against Portugal. I'm sure there's some rivalry there. These countries are right next to each other. Spain, they take it 2-0 and they knock out Cristiano Ronaldo's Portugal. That brings us to the semis. Italy play France and Spain play the Netherlands. Italy beat France 1-0 and Spain beat Netherlands 2-0. No extra time, no penalties, no nothing. The final is set. Italy play Spain in Wembley on the 11th of July, 8 p.m. And the outcome is set. By my prediction, Italy and Spain is one all. Goes to extra time and it's still one all. Italy win Euro 2020 on penalties. That is it for the video today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to join our Fantasy Euro 2020 League, the link is in the video description. I got Euro 2020 content going out across my three channels every single day now for the next month. Thank you again for watching. Hit like and subscribe and we'll see you next time for more. Peace.